song every time i sing it every time i sing it it is different so i will sing it now it is a it is a tune uh, to this to this great song of my time uh, and a movie called love story i think it was brian o'neil and brooke shields who acted in that movie and uh, that song fills my heart every time i sing this love song to jesus it is different so i can't tell you how it is but in this in this worship and adoration of his great love for us i will sing this song for before we start this final journey of the panorama of history of a god who loved us so much that he was willing to come down and be with us our lord emmanuel the king of kings and the lord of lords here we go begin to tell you how much he loves me the simple truth about the love he brings to me the love of god before eternity the dogs the goats and the sheep Mary Joseph and all you see He did that for you and me hallelujah A God so good you see He will invite you as he invited me to share a life with him eternally. You see, he is the God who loves you and me. He fills my soul. soul with so much love you see he came to me he loved me you see he loves you too hallelujah do not ignore my friend the voice of this great friend of yours for all who believe he empowers you to do what is right you see as he did for me you as he loves 
loves me. Finally, can God who created not be born? That is the right question. Do not ask whether the person born could be God. Please ask whether the God who created, can he not? And that's the revelation, the final revelation of God in the New Testament, in Christ Jesus. We celebrate that today. We celebrate that today. When the wise men from the east, seeing these signs, came down and it says they worshipped him. They worshipped him. So let us worship the God of Bethlehem, our Emmanuel, to the world. This message is so urgent because doing what is right and just is, is losing ground by the seconds. That's why the Lord has placed this immense burden on my heart rather than just distributing his New Testaments which give his life story. I'll end now with the power of his life and his story. There was a great, there was a Hindu man who was walking down the road and he saw a blue book in the garbage can. He saw this, this is the book I used to distribute, I still do distribute. He saw this book in the garbage can, he picked it up and he says, hey, this is a western god, I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want anything to do with it. He read that book, he read it and his life changed. He believed. Christ is God. He is the Akhal of Guru Nanak. He is the timeless one. He is the I am who revealed himself to Moses, who was, who is and will always be. And he, his whole life changed as it changed mine. I have a great friend who lives in Coimbatore. He went all over the shop, including J. N. Krishnamurti's Rishi, Rishi Valley School. And he came around. He is my good friend and accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. I only had to explain to him that the culture which we see of Christmas all around, the culture does not distort the fact no one who celebrates Christmas, at least in my country, mostly, with the true spirit of Christ, does not know that Christ is God. No, even those who do not believe that Christ is God cannot hide the love that this event represents. There's this story by this author, this Christmas story. This husband and wife were living on the edge. They were very poor. They were extremely poor. And uh, I am not sure uh, of the details. I'll, I will put, I'll put the story down in words. But it goes like this, that the, the wife had beautiful long hair and no comb. And the husband uh, had no money to buy her something. Like that it goes. And the wife wanted to give him a gift. So the husband sells something of his to buy her a comb. And she sells her hair to buy him a gift. What a sad story. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I thank you and praise you for your great love in this child at Bethlehem. I will sing this song, Silent Night, to close the Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen.
Hallelujah.